There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, I'm out of focus there. Need to get back into proper focus. There we go. That's interesting. Facebook has a different look than on my uh, Zoom meeting thingajiggy. Oh, I see it's mirror imaged. Okay, never mind. I will continue on. Hello, everyone. Monica Dina Huppert's here of Whole Heart Energy Healing. And I am here for uh, live readings and healings. I don't have, any, have any one book for today. So I thought I'd be telling you a little bit about um, this new stuff that I am doing. Well, ever the teacher. Uh, so that means ever uh, the student. I didn't know that when I was uh, uh, going into it into education that I would be constantly in school. I mean, outside from uh, being a teacher, of course. And so here I am taking yet another course, of course, it seems. Always wanting to improve, do better, do something new, different, exciting. And so that's what I've been doing. So. Uh, my latest thing, which I just added to uh, my Facebook business page, um, uh, Whole Heart Energy Healing. I'm doing Akashic Records now. And I found a course about Akashic Records. Now, I've taken a course before on Akashic Records, and it was like, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I got some information. And yet, and yet. So the and yet kept me from um, uh, doing this service for y'all because I wasn't satisfied with the way that I was uh, receiving the information and so on. And maybe at that time I wasn't ready. I don't know. But I am now, and I love this new course that I'm in. It is so me. It is uh, easy to understand. I feel the information. I see it. I hear it. I sense it. Today, when I was doing a client, I ended up doing automatic writing. And I was verbalizing what, what the downloads were into the automatic writing. It was very exciting. I haven't had that connection for a little while. Um, I know I was kind of off with all the, the different energies here. And so it seems like forever. Now I know it's only been like a week or two or something, but it seems like forever for me because it's, it's become such a, an ingrained part of me um, I don't know if you're a Star Trek fan. I certainly am. Star Trek, Star Wars, ah, all of them. Anyways, Star Trek Next Generation had uh, a beautiful lady who played an empath. Um, her character name was Deanna Troy. And the character went through a loss of her ability to connect with other people. She couldn't read them. And subsequently she found that since she couldn't read them, she couldn't do anything, it seemed. And it was unfathomable to her to be a counselor and not be able to feel and sense and know what her clients were feeling. And I loved that the character, the female doctor um, on, on the series, her, her name is uh, Beverly Crusher. And she says to Deanna Troy that 
lots of people are 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 doing this job without that ability that you have and they do a great job at it too nope she wasn't going to have anything to do with this now i didn't quite get to that state but i don't know if you recall um last week i was working um with a lady and i was stymied I was just stymied and I wasn't getting any information. And all I saw in my mind's eye was like a snow blizzard coming at me. You know, when you're driving down the highway or anywhere for that matter, and the snow is just pelting at you. And that's all you, you can't see much, right? You know, you with um, uh, a prayer and uh, a lot of good luck, you know, you hope you stay in your lane as as you um, quickly get to your destination, usually uh, going home for me, it was, you know, I'm going from work to to home. And I remember being a little uh, scared, um, just wanting to go at a, at a good enough pace that I'm not aggravating anybody who's behind me in the drive and yet um, getting home safely. So this is that snowstorm that I was getting. And wouldn't you know it, the gal says to me, well, maybe you're not meant to get it right now. You're meant to get it after a couple of sleep cycles. Now, I tell my people that, um, when we do energy healing or anything like that, give yourself a couple of sleep cycles, let your body adjust to the healing energies, the physical, the mental, the emotional, that, um, sorry, the spiritual, the emotional, and even the mental can uh, get affected right away. And usually the physical will as well, but every now and then, the, the physical says, well, I, I need some extra time to incorporate this all. And so, you know, I, I understand about the sleep cycles needing uh, to be part of, part of the, this is what may happen. So accept it so that, you know, you're not so disappointed. And then usually I hear two or three days later, oh, this happened and, you know, my back feels better and my knee is better and I can move my elbow again and whatever else it was that was a physical thing. I don't have the headaches anymore. All of those things, uh, they're often gone. But to be stymied, whoa, that, that just, I, ha I haven't had that feeling since I first began on this. Um, uh, journey of, of uh, spirituality and learning and it was my ego that would get in the way and would uh, kind of go you can't do that <laughs> you know who are you that's just a load of bunk and I um, would give in to that at the beginning and then I realized you know that's just a fear talking. That's just um, an insecurity, um, wanting to do my best, wanting to um, be the best that I could be. And if I fell short, well, you know, why, why bother going forward? Little did I know that me learning that lesson helped me help my students when they went through those kinds of things. So I, I get a kick out of some of the things I've learned how to overcome so that I could show others how to overcome them. And so here I had built into the system, you know, if it's not exactly as you're thinking it could be, should be, whatever be, um, definitely hang in there and uh, give it a couple of nights and, and you will see the, the results then and they always do they always do i've not had anyone say well you know it's been two days or it's been five days or it's been whatever days and and it hasn't shown up yet that's never happened so um but i i like to have that 
in place for people so that if they're nervous and they're blocking out things simply because um, there's the fear of the unknown, what if this woo-woo stuff is just woo-woo stuff? Uh, is it woo-woo stuff? I don't know. My religious upbringing says this, and you're saying that. How can this be? How can we have two rights? I don't know. And, and that kind of um, uh, a scenario plays out. So anyways, uh, it felt really good to have when I did this Akashic reading, uh, records reading for this uh, lady today, to have that feeling back and be able to share all the stuff and to have the automatic writing uh, coming down uh, into me as I was writing down responses to her questions in case she, she um, um, wanted to ask me questions about it. And then that way I had a record because what I find is that when I channel, I don't always, well, don't always, I seldom keep the information because that information isn't my property. It is me uh, having that ability to tell that person it's their property and what they do with it is, is their choice. Um, but when you're so in, in, enthralled in what it all is, sometimes the mind just kind of goes, goes blank and you can't under, um, understand or let that one extra little piece of information and you hear or you remember a little snippet. Well, what is it? So this is why I've been uh, recording things. And then I, you know, I send it off and then that, that's it. I don't, I don't need it. It's not, like I say, it's not my property. It's not my stuff. So, so it was interesting to, uh, to go through that experience. And then now go through the new experience. And I've only been taking the course a couple of weeks now. And I know with my intuitive abilities, I, I, I can do this. Uh, again, it was my ego getting in the way. When I was trying to do my own Akashic records, it was like crickets. We got nothing for you. You're going to be fine. Everything's good. Like it was, the, uh, you know, a like a pat answer when I was trying to do my own Akashic records. And, oh, that was getting to me. But when this gal, we were gonna do some other thing, a different uh, modality I was helping her with. Uh, we, were, we were both taking this uh, same course and uh, she wanted to practice with me. But honest, uh, she was not ready to practice. She was in tears and uptight and all of that. And so with my uh, recent learning um, about the Akashic records, I said, you want to take a chance on me? We'll, we'll go into your Akashic records and, and see what's what. And you could see the shoulders started coming down a little bit. <laughs> and, and her face was softening up again and it's like, yes yes do this let's let's do this so we we spent about an hour and a bit on on her and by the end of it she went from being extremely agitated and um triggered by uh, um uh, other things that were going on and unable to to focus and be in the room and be able to do what what she needed to do for the course that we're um, taking. Hi, Christine. Good to see you. <laughs> and so in doing the, the Akashic Records there, like I said, her face softened, everything just <sighs> calmed down. She was able to breathe again and move forward. She got some answers to questions that she had and, and wanted, you know, what is it? And so I found a, a link in her past life why that was happening and why it happened again. And then um, as the healer, I could go back in and, and ask for that to be removed and changed and so on. Um, and, but I focused for her in what I told her, 
all on the Akashic Records and what her Akashic Record guides were telling me to tell her. And so I was that interpreter. I was the, the go-between. And that felt good. And then, you know, wanting to, to help her out and help her feel better, I asked for additional healings to go on. Um, so it felt good to be able to do that. So that's my new service, Akashic Records. It's on my uh, Whole Heart Energy Healing Facebook page. Uh, I don't have it up on my website yet. I only made so far the Facebook page. And uh, I'm labeling it as, as a 45 minute um, product. But I just find that sometimes I need more time than that. But, you know, if it only lasted 45 minutes and there wasn't anything more, I didn't want to say it's an hour long. And then people are going, well, you still owe me 15 minutes because some people think that way they don't think it of as a as a session so i i go at the lower end but then i warn people you know we might need an extra bit of time and most people are okay with that and, and i feel better uh knowing that i've over delivered and that that is something that is important to me to be able to um deliver for people so that felt good to to be connected again uh, compared to last week with all the energies going, that kind of a thing. So that's that one. The other service that I am putting out now, um, I've got it typed up on the website, but it's not public. It's not a public page yet. It will be probably by the end of this week or early next week. It is energy transmissions. And I'm going to do this as a month service. What I've been doing is getting information on what people need, what they desire to have um, fulfilled in their lives, making sure that they, they can um, um, move forward. And it's been, it's been uh, difficult for some people to even understand, you know, what, what do they want? What do they need? Um, and so as I, as I take down my notes, I realize that there are um, a few categories. And so I've put them together into packages. Uh, there's 10 key areas that you can choose from. I've called it Intentional Quantum Energy Attunements and Adjustments. And here are the categories. The first one is Authentic Confidence. That is a biggie. People are finding that, you know, there's, there's either fear or they're retreating or they are feeling down about themselves, PTSD is knocking them on their keister. They don't feel confident in life anymore. And that's a big deal. That is a huge deal for them. So um, that was definitely a, a category I found was to be very um, uh, helpful and supportive. The other one is calling in life purpose. More people are wanting to um, see what, you know, okay, I, I'm doing my job, you know, whether it's raising your kids or whether it's working in an office or doing both, or, you know, you're running your own business, but isn't there more to life than this? So we find out what your calling and your life purpose is. Not that I'm addressing it specifically one-on-one. -on -one. I'll get to how this is all done in just a moment. Next is prosperity and prosperous living. My God, we've got to make a living and things are costing so much. So we need more money to come into us, into our lives. And uh, so that's another category. Health and self-care. So um, often the two go hand in hand, makes sense, you know. But if you're uh, dealing with an ailment of some sort, that 
is something you know might be a top priority for you if you are realizing that you're doing a self punishment thing and not looking after yourself or you're putting yourself last because everybody else is important and 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 there's 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 a whole myriad of that um and then people wake up and they realize, you know, if I don't look after me, I can't be here to help the people that I'm meant to help. So whether it's uh, your children, your pets, your um, your significant other, however that goes, you know. So anyways, the next is mental, emotional and spiritual clarity. Um, I mentioned earlier about PTSD and how that uh, uh, affects people. It's it is phenomenal the the weight that it puts on people, and we're recognizing that PTSD doesn't mean you had to have gone through um, uh, a bombing in Afghanistan, or that you had to have been um, physically, mentally, or emotionally abused to get that. It can happen with a scare. It can happen because your thought processes were already in a fragile state and then one little thing triggers it and now you are just a puddle and you need to come back from being a puddle. But, you know, So you need that mental, emotional and spiritual clarity to help you move forward in life. Next one is supported spirituality more and more people are now on their uh, spiritual path and um, they are um, uh, looking for guidance, I guess, how to connect. They, they have a calling, they have um, never considered uh, doing this uh, spiritual journey before because that wasn't their upbringing, whether it was um, a very religious or very militant or very whatever it is. Um, but now they're finding themselves wanting to look more into that. So supported spirituality is another uh, area to choose from. Creativity and manifestation is another one. When we can express ourselves, however that is, whether it is through music, uh, dance, painting, art of any kind, um, composing, and uh, so that could be um, manuscripts, that could be books, that could be um, articles, anything that you want to create, um, and then bring that into fruition, bring that into manifestation. That is um, another area that you might want to have an energy attunement and adjustment. Next one is love and relationships. Love and relationships is all of what we're all about, whether we have what's considered in society um, a significant other, whether we have a relationship just with animals, whether we have a relationship uh, estranged with our family, whatever it is, we are in a relationship. Plus, we're also in a relationship with ourselves, with ourselves and with our spirituality, however we choose that or not choose it. It's still a relationship with how you uh, view the world. And so love and relationships is that part. Inner harmony, inner harmony is the next one. Do you feel at peace inside? Are you feeling that, um, you know, life is worth living? Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. And, you know, you're barely holding on by a thread to whatever it is that you can grasp onto just to stay alive because your thoughts have overtaken you in such a negative way that, you know, you wish you could just walk in front of a bus and gone and then your problems would be over. 
or whatever it is you think, you know, people think uh, uh, different ways. Um, and it's taking everything you've got to, to stay present and be here. So having that inner harmony that you can feel like you matter, you do matter, but sometimes we feel like we don't. We feel like we're abandoned. We feel like we, we don't matter. We feel like there's nothing out there for us. Why should we continue? Having that inner harmony will help you understand why you continue. And finally, positive, empowering influence and impact. So there's a lot of us now who are going into entrepreneurship and wanting to express our love, our delights, express ourselves in some fashion and having that be a positive impact on the world. So whether, um, you know, for you, it's Greenpeace and I want to make sure that the animals are looked after or uh, nature and I want to save all the rainforests and or um, the animal shelters and I want to show people um, the the beauty of having a relationship with um, with your pets and here's a great safe way uh, for your pets here's good nutrition here's you know all that information uh, that is important whatever it is and then having that come out to the world and having that that vision impact the world in a positive way that's an important thing so these are the 10 different categories that I have and that I would be beaming out and there's also an additional one so whether you choose to ask for um, or or sign up for uh, any four any seven or all 10, um, you will get this bonus 11th one. And the bonus 11th one to me is a, is a big, big deal. And the reason why that is there is because I think that as, as, as good of a, um, of a person that I can be to help others out, there's still one extra source that is, is far, far more powerful. So yes, I may be the conduit and so on, but what if there is a little bit more that a particular person needs? And so when I was putting this package, uh, these packages together, I got the tap on the shoulder saying, you know, you often will practice sending source out to people and uh, do, um, I don't know, a preliminary thing, do a healing thing before you come in and, and talk and, and direct the energies and so on and witness that and, and share that with people. And so uh, there's a bonus one of a uh, source doing this for you as well. So regardless whether you take um, a package of four, seven or 10, you will get this bonus one where I'll be requesting source to send out specific energies that you need that will help you um, in, in your plight. So what this looks like then is now, depending on how many um, energies you're, you're getting sent to you, but it looks like me doing a meditation and I sit and I have uh, you in, in mind um, and I take a look, what did you ask for? These are the things, okay. Then I send out the energies and the frequencies to do with that. So for example, if I were to send you authentic confidence, 
I would send out energies that promote your self-confidence, that uh, act on your inner knowing, uh, that would help you trust your own judgment, that would uh, help you confidently express your thoughts and ideas, giving you the ability to voice your needs, your feelings, your desires, your visions, your thoughts, having the power to create your reality. So I would be sending those vibes to you as well. Um, getting to the roots of old beliefs and patterns of childhood and past lives. And so you either, you know, talk it to a friend, uh, talk it to a therapist, talk it to an energy healer like myself, whoever, or have the talk on your own, within your own head and start realizing some of the patterns that you're going through. Things are going to start coming and be revealed to you. To do with authentic confidence is also connecting to your most wise and powerful self. You have the ability to make your world different, to create it how you wish, even though it feels sometimes like there is no way in heaven and earth that you can do that. I know that you can. I know that you can. And if you're given the right influence, the right uh, set of information, you can start seeing a different picture and start making different choices. How about just being forthright and honest? Wouldn't that be a lovely thing if authentic confidence was one of the things you're looking for? And then finally letting go of limiting beliefs. So that's just one out of the 10 um, that I am going to be uh, putting out there. And I'm really excited for that. There's also another one in the works in the background too, which has to do uh, with uh, contracts, oaths. Um, there's a few words that I had on there. Um, obviously I haven't finished writing it out, otherwise i would be tripping off my tongue a little easier. But that's another one that will be coming down the pipe very shortly. Uh, but this, uh, um, Akashic Records kind of snuck in there. I wasn't expecting it, but in I, I see the power behind it, and I I, I don't want to uh, let that stay in the background. I want to bring it out to the forefront. Uh, in addition to um, uh, the quantum um, uh, healings that are going, the intentional uh, quantum energy attunements and adjustments. It's a frequency therapy. So like I said, uh, it looks like me meditating, uh, thinking these, guiding and all of that. Plus, um, Source is doing um, his, her part uh, to, to pave the way, clear the, the, the big stuff out of the way. And then I come in with what you wanted and so on. What's neat about this though, Okay, so this will end up being my lowest price thing ever because I'm giving you uh, energy attunements and adjustments for, um, <clears throat> for a small price. Um, for uh, the four of them, I think it's like $89 for a month of energy. Uh, send out to you. That takes me half hour, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how many I'm, I'm sending out to you. So if it's the, the, the four, it'll be about a half hour. If it's seven, then it's going to end up being about 45 minutes. And if it's all 10 that you want sent out to you, then it'll take me about an hour. I've already timed this out and seems to be about right. I might end up giving a little bit more, um, but certainly not. It won't be less than that time. And the idea behind it is, is you are getting in the moment energies that you require so that you can get on with your life. And it is 
meant to help you uh, feel better, whole, complete, um, feeling like and knowing that you can overcome some of the obstacles you had. So whether you're wanting to get a better relationship with your cats, we're chasing each other around the house, uh, whether you want a better relationship uh, with your spouse or um, uh, with your coworkers or however that goes, or you're wanting, um, you know, spiritual clarity to come into your life now. Maybe you want to be more creative and uh, manifest things. Um, maybe you want to be more prosperous and bring in a, a greater income. Or maybe you want that inner harmony, that peace is so important to you. You don't have it in your life and you want that. You need that um, so that you can feel that you can move forward in life and, and do that. Maybe you want uh, your calling in your life purpose. Maybe you just want you know, to have that confidence in yourself that you can move forward. They're all possible. Now, yes, I will send out just one um, or two or three um, if that's all you want. That, that's fine too. I won't make you take a package of four if four isn't what you want. You just want one. That's all good. And I have a reduced price for that. What's neat about this though, is I am also including, you can um, bring in others. So if you bought the package of four, for example, and your spouse, significant other, your sister, whoever you live with, whoever you don't live with, it doesn't matter. But you get another person to say, you know, Monica is doing this. And for $12 more, you can have the same four things and we'll split the cost. So now it's gone from, what did I say, $89? So now it's uh, $45 a month for the two of you bring on a third, bring on a fourth, and I think I've allotted for a fifth, where for $12 more, and then you split the costs. So it can be as low as what, I think I had it figured out at less than a dollar a day. Really, healing energy for a month, for less than a dollar a day each. You know, like really, that, that's nothing. Um, and then again, if you want seven, I think the additional price is 15 for each person. And then if you want all 10, the additional price is 18 for each person, because I'm taking that extra time. I just need um, uh, your full name. And I think I've asked for your birth date, just so that if I don't know you one on one like this, then I want to make sure that I'm connecting to the right person. And if there are 17,000 um, uh, Jill Smiths and your name is Jill Smith, you know, I want to make sure it gets to the Jill Smith that's paying me, you know, you want to get the, the stuff that you're paying for. So, uh, so I've asked for, for those items. I'm not going to use them for any purpose other than transmitting the energies to you, to that person. And that way I, I can feel good that I know I'm doing the best that I can to get it to the person that I think it is. And of course I ask source, of course I, I figure out, you know, is this going to the right person? I'm going to double check to the best of my ability. So there you go. So you can have a whole bunch of people, uh, I think up to five and you can each split that cost and make it uh, very, very cheap for yourself. So I, I think, you know, if, if, if you compare, you know, what, 30, 30 bucks versus the almost 90 bucks, 89 or something like that, 30 bucks for a month, really? And you and your whole family are starting to feel better, happier, getting along better. Uh, you're benefiting from the energies being sent out to you. 
plus you've got source helping you out um and and um you know getting rid of the the big boulders that are in the way there's a whole bunch of things that can be of good service to you so i hope that uh, you're going to um Take a look at that offer. I'll I'll let you know when I when I put it up on my website. Uh, I'll announce it, and let it be of benefit to you. And you can you know subscribe for a month. You can subscribe for five months. Whatever it is, you know I'll I'll be doing that. And daily, except for Sundays, I'm going to take a Sunday off for myself, and allow a Sunday a one day for the energies to totally integrate into you because you'll be getting them uh, every day, every single day. Um, the, the energies will come your way. Some of you will feel it. Some of you will not feel it. And either way, that's okay. What I do encourage people to do though, is um, note how they're feeling at the beginning of the month. Note how they're feeling at the end of the month and compare do i still feel uh fearful do i still fear feel um life's not worth living do i still have a negative relationship with my significant other or with my kids or with my coworkers? then you look and you see you know there has been a shift there has been a change there has been me feeling happier for no reason. It's just feeling good, feeling good. And that's where, that's your proof. That's your proof that you are getting the energies, that you are adjusting to your new norm, to your new way of being. And why you chronicle it is so that you can see that there was a difference. There is a, a, a gap that was this why, and now it's shrinking. So imagine how life will be for you in, let's just say several months, several months, you're going to be still alive here anyways, most of you. And uh, so, you know, do you want to be improving? staying the same or, or possibly going down in, in how you're feeling, you know? I, I thought long and hard about what can I do to help big, bring a positive impact to you all? Because that's my dream. I want to um, be the, uh, the voice of, of reason, you know, this is a good thing to do. This will help me. Um, I'm not looking to um, extort money from you or, or anything like that. I do want to be paid for my services. I'm putting in my time. And just like you would put in your time to your job and get paid, this is my job. And I will be looking to get paid as well. And that I am extending to you you know, that you can have other people join in on the, the key areas that, that you wanted to have. And then let's say next month, you don't want uh, the one on love and relationships, but you want the one on spirituality. So you just give me a notice and I will um, change the, the focus. Now you have these four ones instead of those four ones. Change them every month. Um, but enjoy the benefits of that month from, from those areas that you've chosen. Enjoy the benefits for those, um, from those energy attunements and adjustments. You're gonna feel a lot better. I guarantee that you are going to feel different. You will notice a difference. Chronicle it down, write it down, notice how you're feeling now and all of that. And, uh, and you will see and the month is going to go by in the way the month is going to go by. But you will notice a difference in the categories that you have asked to have healing energy sent towards you for that. So 
that's it, people. That's it. Um, to me, these are these are big deals, and I'm very excited about it. That I can I can help you yet enough in yet another way um, to to help you navigate uh, your journey in life and be able to come out the winner that you are. You know, we've we've had so many um, negative experiences with with COVID, with uh, the, the new energies that are um, approaching here. And we need to have a hand up and be able to look forward to something that will bring us joy, bring us peace, bring us fun and enlightenment and 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 that kind of a stuff back into our lives and sometimes we forget what that looks like until we see oh that's what that looks like that's what that feels like that's that happiness that I've been missing and I haven't had it for a while since I was a little kid you know we we need to to have that brighter side of life that we're um, that we connect with and enjoy. So I hope that uh, this uh, broadcast has been of um, support to you in your life. And I I was just looking at next week. That's the twenty third. I think I'll still do the 23rd of readings and healings. And then I'm going to take a couple of weeks off and then return back on the 6th. Um, so yes, the 23rd, I will still, I will still do readings and healings. So if you uh, wish to catch me, then I would uh, love to be able to be of service to you, whether it's through um, uh, this way free or whether uh, you're paying me a small amount to help you with your personal um, uh, situation that you would like looked at. So that's it. So until next week, I wish you uh, happy shopping, um, lots of hugs and hot cocoa and whatever else that the, the Hallmark movies are, are uh, feeding to us. I love every one of them. It doesn't matter <laughs> because I love that happiness that's in there. Yes, it can be a little fake sometimes. Yes, it's a little predictive at times. Yes, uh, there's all the schmaltz and all that. And you know what? It's good to see an example of how when a disagreement or when things get misunderstood, that there is a way to overcome it that there is a way to um, mend um, that, that, that hurt ego, that broken heart, that whatever it was, you know, that things can be good in life. And that's what, what I love about them. There's no yelling, there's no F-bombs, there's no killing, there's no, you know, um, horrid drama. And, and the like in, in the shows. Um, maybe that's what makes them boring for some people. That's what makes them endearing for me because I'm not having to always put up a guard um, about the next COVID story, the next group of people that have been hurt. I, I always send out love and blessings and healings and all of that whenever I hear anything like that. But it, it, it um, does bother me too. And so I look forward to events, shows, whatever it is, where it's love as the main message and caring and being kind and helpful and showing that you give a damn about another person that you don't even know and yet you still care. 
that to me is is um, what lights me up. And so that's why I'm watching those kinds of shows. So whatever it is for you that puts a smile on your face, I hope you have plenty of smiles to come. And until uh, next week, next Thursday, uh, I bid you adieu, God bless, and enjoy. Monica Dina Hubbard's here of Whole Heart Energy Healing, wishing you a wonderful week. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.